All right, welcome to another exciting unboxing video. Uh, today I'm going to show you the Dust Topper Dust Collection Bucket Top from Home Depot. And it looks like they have some sort of a marketing agreement or they make this themselves. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but I was debating between this product and the Cyclone Deputy. And after watching a video by John Builds It on YouTube, um, I'll put a link to that below, who did a pretty scientific in-depth analysis of the functional functional capacity of the two. Um, I saw that there was virtually no functional difference in these two products and one is a little bit more expensive as well so I went ahead and decided to get the dust topper and there were two deciding factors in my opinion and what swayed me one way or the other one is that the dust topper has a very low profile and just seems easier to store on a workbench under a shelf um, and also just availability I was able to walk into Home Depot and just pick this up off the shelf right next to the shop vacs so all right let's open it up see what's inside and you can see it's pretty simple neatly packaged no styrofoam so that was nice good for the environment um, so it includes this 90 degree elbow and this is the almost two and a half inch hose that connects to the side of the lid and to your power tool and you can see coming up here what I mean by just almost two and a half inches um, there's quite a bit of wiggle room so I'll need to find some way to seal that up for a tighter fit and then here we have the dust collector lid itself uh, it's really a basic design just two portholes and then this plate plastic plate to uh, direct the debris into the bucket so not a whole lot to it actually all right and then we've got some instruction booklets here and then let's get this all laid out all right and at this point I'm gonna have to disagree with the product packaging that says assembly requires no tools or hardware um, nothing with this lid fits snugly this is the hose for my vacuum so it's got a lot of space there so I had to take this 90 that attaches to the lid um, but I picked up this adapter from Home Depot as well luckily it's right there with the dust topper itself and as you can see the outer diameters are about the same but the adapter is rubber so after I tried to force it together I decided to use some heat and got my heat gun out and just heat it up just enough to make it pliable and then I could work it over the adapter And at this point, I realized it'd be a good idea to go ahead and put a hose clamp on there just to seal it up even better. So take the 90 back off, attach the hose clamp. Um, and this adapter is, you can cut it to size for whatever you need. It's about 10 or $11. Um, pretty handy. And you can use it for any size hose that you may need. And you may also need two of these if you if you want to get a perfect fit on your on your power tools. You may actually need more because you're probably going to want one per tool. So I just tighten up the uh, hose clamp there and put it back on. And this is with the hose attached, with the vacuum hose attached that goes to the uh, the shop back, I believe. Um, all right, so I've done a few jobs using this um, dust collection system, if you can call it that. Uh, and as you can see, you know, some of this is uh, circular sawdust, but it does a pretty decent job. I mean, it doesn't catch everything, but for the price point, it definitely helps. It definitely makes it 
I'm much more comfortable working in a closed space. So I'll show you guys how much has been collected in the uh, in the bucket versus in the shop vac. So you can see quite a bit, quite a bit in there. Um, if I had to say that's probably about four inches uh, from the bottom of sawdust. So picked up quite a bit and then come over here to my shop vac and this is, I can't remember the horsepower on this thing, but it's not a super powerful vac. That's everything that's in the back. Um, so pretty much nothing. Now, one thing I would recommend if you're going to use this, um, it doesn't seal up that well on the bucket itself. So what I did, and this may or may not be the best option, is I put some, you know, um, gasket, RTV sealant, something like that around this lip just to kind of give it a little bit better of an air seal um, doesn't look like it's holding up too well so there may be better options I've seen some people on YouTube that put a a piece of tubing over it but I couldn't get it to fit and it just kept falling off so I tried this route and it does it does make a pretty big difference just that it's just that the lid doesn't doesn't really form a good seal and that would probably be one of my bigger complaints about this product is, you know, what would it cost to throw in a gasket? Maybe an extra $5. Um, I'd be more than happy to pay $5 more for it and get the gasket. Um, but overall, not too bad. The other complaint I will make about it is that this, the hoses are just too short for it. Um, You know, here on my table saw, it's not so bad because the table saw doesn't move. But if, but if you're on the miter saw, that hose port moves as you move the saw. And number one, that hose is so short, you have to prop up the bucket somewhere. Or you just can't use it. You can't just leave the bucket on the floor. It'll just come loose. So those are really my only two complaints about it. But, you know, for... For the price, it's it's definitely worth it.